Hello, hello, and welcome to Germany. My name is Day9, and I'm very excited to present a serious commentary by myself <laughs> and someone who actually works at this studio at Gamesports.de, my lovely friend Zoe. Yes, I indeed work here, and uh, just for info, some of you might have seen the uh, VOD we did before between Kaz and Tielo. We might have, I would say the... the the technical stuff didn't work out as good as it should, uh, which is totally <laughs> not our fault, of course. Uh, so uh, yeah, this time everything should work out, so you should actually be able to see us proper. We're crisp uh, and clean, and ready to do yes, a little bit of Terran are. versus Terran commentary between our good friend Marine King Prime at the south position as the Red Terran on Terminus versus Loner, who's playing under Fever in the we north position. It, we made it, what was it now? Well, it, it was either uh, Flover, <laughs> fle fle Fleaver, le Lever, Loner, lever. Flover. I like Lever the best. Lever. Okay. Lever's yeah. probably the strongest it of the three. Makes it sound three. eatable, so <laughs> <laughs> I do like that. So uh, yeah, a few words about that map. Uh, that map has actually uh, some a little um, weird things hidden on it. For example, those neutral supply depots, as well as the uh, third base uh, with the uh, rich gas. Mm -hmm. You have there, and um, as well, uh, you might want to mention that there is only one entrance to all those bases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Terminus is such a huge map. I mean, I could show you the distance, but that would wear my mouse hand out. Oh, no. So <laughs> I'm just going to say, look at the mini-map and just be amazed at how large it is. We see Loner spawning at the exact opposite corner as Le Blue Terran, again, under Fever. And I know I'm going to say some combination of those because I've already had that problem <laughs> with White Raw and Duck Load in the past. So um, on a map that's huge like Terminus, very hard to do your standard um, early game aggression because of the distances. So we tend to see a little bit more defensive long-term play. Yeah, we saw for both players the first supply depot going down as well as the barracks who just now started and I think we see exactly the same in the base of Marine King Prime uh, except the fact that he's doing a, a half wall off there yeah. uh, with his barracks probably for a bit um, later on in the game. Uh, also I'd like to state that we don't see any gas yet mm -hmm. which is uh, if that stays like that it probably indicates that they go for like I don't know fast expansion or something like that. Yeah I mean Technically, you can do like two barracks builds and or occasionally just delay till you have enough to suddenly slam down four or five barracks to do some sort of huge marine push. But on a map like Terminus, really the early expand is the reasonable thing to do. And plus, that would be pretty stupid if we did a commentary on a game where someone decided to just go with five barracks all in. So you know what? It turns out we are quite excited to see both players throwing down orbital command, doing the usual economic uh, follow through and probably going to be doing an early expansion. Yeah, in general, I'd say that's the safer thing to do on that map since the distance is just so huge. Look I at mean, him scouting, like, it's way late. It's like, well, I'm never going to find him anyway. Yeah, can't, so. can't be ours to actually walk that <laughs> way. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, expanding is just a pretty safe thing to do, I'd say, on that map. Yep, do see the expansion <laughs> going down right now for Dr. King. What a timing. Yep, going down. And it looks like Loner actually throwing down his expansion at his expo, not trying to hide it at all. He's proud of his expansion. He's not going <laughs> to hide that away, cowering it on the other side of the ramp. And the big question is whether these players are going to be, oh, okay, never mind. There's the answer to it. Marine King Prime looks like he's throwing down two, yeah, two refineries right away. It looks like he wants to do some sort of tech play. And generally, the second gas is a good sign that your opponent has won. So it looks like Marine King Prime letting his opponent know. Uh, Loner <laughs> responding in a little bit of binary, which he translates to Y, why? <laughs> dot, dot, you go su, et cetera. Wow, it looks like we see, already see a big deviation. Double gas for Marine King Prime and a ton of barracks on the mini-map for Fever. Uh, so it pretty much it looks for Fever, Loner, Fever, Loner, whatever. It looks like he is doing um, more of a bit aggressive marine play there mm -hmm. and i don't know what we see on the other side there's another barracks going down by the way so that's uh Loads of barracks is right there. But 50,000 barracks is at, a good at point. At least. <laughs> There's plenty of barracks right now. We already see Marine King Prime continuing to rally Marines down at the bottom of his ramp. Um, looks like he's throwing down a factory, getting ready to do some kind of tech play. Very common uh, build style nowadays. After this, you know, Marine King Prime actually popularized this style of mass barracks. So Loner's going to do Marine King Prime style. Mm -hmm. Marine King Prime's going to do someone else's style. So maybe he will change his name to Getting Tanks Eventually Prime. <laughs> oh. oh, All right, it's your turn to talk. Yeah, thanks, because that was such an easy thing to, like, that's the giveaway to throw me a ball. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, so reactor going down for um, <laughs> Marine King Prime, yeah. as well as the second barracks. 
we just started to build, and I really don't know what to say. You just totally put me off. That's with right. That. That's really right. I'm joke. delighted to be able to be very funny on the air with you, Zoe. I appreciate. Let me uh, see the first tag lap. Okay, now let me let me do that. All okay, right, let that's me try fine. it again. We see a tag lap going down on those barracks, and a uh, tag lap, in my opinion, is a very very big indicator in a TVT what the Terran player is going to play. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, getting one tech lab very, very early. This is generally a little bit of a defensive play, trying to get at least stim or combat shield out very fast. If you get two tech labs early on, that's a sign that you want to be attacking because you want both those upgrades out really fast. But we see Loner doing something very surprising, moving out on a map this huge with nothing but a small force of Marines. And it looks like Marine King Prime didn't even build a bunker, is caught off guard. Ooh, sweeping around the right side, picks off the Marines. And it looks like he might even get the chance to kill this command center. Yeah, and that is looking good because we at the at the side of Marine King Prime, we pretty much have nothing to work with. We have just a little bunch of Marines, and that tank should be finished anytime soon. But there is no siege mode uh, research either. So, God, no, it looks don't like it's die. getting really close to getting picked off. But no, no it looks okay. like Marine King Prime sacrificed a lot of SCVs to be able to keep that alive. Oh, and God. now Marine King Prime wants to do a, a little bit of pushing back action. But I mean, look at the mini map. There's like the Ant Hill Trail of Blue Marines just making their way in but it looks like Marine King will barely be able to defend. No, he just got him off his back. And uh, I'd say that's a very, very bold move from, um, from Loner to actually be so aggressive with those Marines right away in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, the SCV SCV does oh get taken God. down, and it looks like Marine King Prime has a good sense of what's going on, and he better pull back because <laughs> he really just does not have that many units at all. Lags, say C8. <laughs> Coming down right now, and you know... It's better what weight's just different. Yeah, weight, say, could you say it for me? And Fever's <laughs> pissed off about that. So it does look like these barracks... Ooh, throwing down these add-ons right now, this actually is a very smart play because it's always a danger whenever you um, are playing with a mass, well, actually mass anything style. When do I have the opportunity to build these add-ons? Because they take such a long time. And right now, this is all Loner will have for about a minute to be able to defend himself with. So I do like that fast stim, letting him do that defensive play. And, and this is good. <laughs> this is good for Marine King Prime because wow. right now, Loner has absolutely nothing to, to, to get as a reinforcement. So if he takes those Marines off right now, and uh, those tanks still are not able to siege. Yeah, it looks <laughs> and like he has pretty much nothing right now. Like, why would he walk in with, with just a tiny little well, bunch I mean, of Marines? It's an amazing tanks? timing for Marine King Prime to attack because if the add-ons are going down. Yeah, but he would have needed those units maybe. Yeah, it's, to it's hard to abuse a really nice timing window with no units. <laughs> And it looks like a little bit of punishment happening for Loner right here. I mean, Marine King Prime, again, it was an amazing timing window. All the <laughs> add-ons were going down. No extra units popping out for Loner. But Marine King Prime had four Marines and two tanks with no siege mode. So yeah, that was a little bit vulnerable. Here. Yeah, so it looks like uh, we see, gosh, look at this. Again, Tech Lab's such a huge indicator of strategy. We see that just by getting only one Tech Lab a little bit delayed, no um, upgrades really for those Marines done yet. So that means Marine King Prime gonna have to go into defensive mode and get himself some more barracks. Yeah, and um, we see the command center going down for uh, Loner right there. So he got his third uh, base coming up and uh, yeah, we shall see if he will be able to hold that off. And it pretty much looks like he's going for medivacs now as well. Mm -hmm. Throwing them into his mixture is um, pretty normal, I'd say, for, <laughs> for that strategy. Yeah, yeah. Two engineering base, so we see more upgrades as well. Yeah, I like this play quite a lot by, um, you know, Loner. I almost called him Marine King Prime because, again, <laughs> Marine King Prime does this style, how not confusing. Loner. <laughs> I know how rude of them. To, and they're not even playing under their names. Wouldn't it be awesome if this replay was just completely mislabeled and it was just two guys? <laughs> it's probably, that's probably it. Standard. So it does seem that Marine King Prime is playing very defensively, getting super crazy amounts of reactors so he can build Marines. Mm. which is uh, an expected play for uh, a man with his name to do. But this is, w <laughs> there's going to be an interesting thing that we're going to call the dance oh coming up. Where <laughs> oh, we have coming again. Where we have Marines, Marauders, and Medivacs, the mobile army against the stronger tank marine immobile army and it's all going to be about when these tanks siege and unsiege you're going to see a lot of careful planting of the tanking player of where his tanks get positioned and a lot of forward movement by the marine maraudering player we can see in the resource tab they're actually quite even in terms of food count and now that all these reactors are done marine king prime will really begin catching up uh, I don't know how far his upgrades uh, are. I mean, before Stim is ready, I wouldn't recommend uh, for Marine King Prime to, uh, Prime to actually move out of his base. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he's not doing that anyways. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, yeah, you referring to the dance, uh, I just want people to pay attention how absolutely not dangerous it makes those heavy infantry and tanks sound when he's referring to it <laughs> as a dance. It just makes me feel like I'm watching ballet with different colors. Yeah, really. I, I suppose, <laughs> although it does completely emasculate Terran versus Terran. <laughs> a little bit, It's, yeah. it's, it's such like an important... Heavy con. machines, sweaty mans, uh, in, 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 <laughs> in, in, in heavy cloak... Guns and bullets and cigars, stuff. and they're <laughs> flicking skull bones from dancing. Zergs out. And here, here, comes here comes the dance. dance. Marine King Prime with his tanks, he just wants to dance. <laughs> I mean, the thing to note is that, oh really, this infantry army from uh, Loner is much bigger than the, the infantry army of Marine King. But with the tanks, it means that Marine King Prime can manage to hold off. So here comes a really, really tense moment. It's with all about the tanks. It's all about the tanks sieging in the right moment. And it doesn't look like that happened. Uh. He just lost his first tank. And now he gets uh, those infantry uh, Marines in front of him. But Ooh. Again, you have to be so careful with these distances. It's so, so close, but Loner is going to back up, but not that much. He wants to make sure he has enough space. He needs to force these tanks to re-siege. And oh no, look at this huge arc by Marine that King Prime. You. Loner has to pull back. Loner actually loading up into a medevac and losing it. <laughs> Here, you have these units. Yeah, well, seriously, he needs to wait for his tanks. He can't just run away with, with, uh, with his Marines and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, really, this is a again. much bigger this army for Marine King Prime, but he's sieging up so late. Uh, oh, God, my gosh. Late. All his that infantry are getting late. surrounded. And oh, right when the tanks finally siege, there's only about eight Marines left over for Marine King Prime in such a blunder, losing oh everything. God. Loner actually barely came out of that one alive, still behind his opponent in food, but I'm feeling real happy if I'm in Loner's spot. Yeah, so would I. I mean, that was basically the tank sieging uh, timing there, which which pretty much uh, pretty much lost Marine King uh, Prime that game. Mm -hmm. we, if, if it would have been the game, that fight, yeah. <laughs> it's not all over yet. Um, yeah, I mean, if it would have been like two seconds earlier, that that would have been his because yeah. his positioning was good as well. Hell, I mean, even if you had like another half second <laughs> up, I mean, the, he only had eight or nine Marines left over when all those tanks finally got yeah. their first shot off. But, you know, Marine King Prime really not quite accepting the way that this map is supposed to be played. It's so huge. He feels really obligated to try to push fast and hard. And it looks like he's just going for a straight second follow up. But with this drop moving out, this is a very uh -oh. weird situation. We see that there's a bigger army for Marine King Prime moving up. And, woo, man, Loner is going to be in a lot of trouble if this guy moves out to attack soon enough. Yeah, and it doesn't even look that bad for, for Marine King Prime. I mean, seriously, okay, that drop behind there. I mean, does he have anything in his base to defend? Uh-oh. Oh, Pretty oh much no. Not his reinforcements just uh, join, uh, are on their way to join the big army. And now he's pulling them back to go to that drop. Which uh, could hurt him pretty much that expansion. Let's see if he is able Ooh. to hold that off. And it doesn't look like it. He goes in with those workers and uh, just oh sacrifices God. them and at the same time that attack caused Marine King Prime to get a little nervous siege up these tanks wait a little longer and that bought so much oh time look God. at that about another 16 Marines popping out on that end it looks like Marine King is trying to defend this southern expo trying to prevent this drop from coming in and oh Marine King Prime getting a little over eager and trying to go for a kill yeah we shall see if that works he did siege up those tanks but they are way too far in the back like with, with that distance he couldn't really do anything in the beginning now he's losing all his marines Ugh. and trying to get away with the loading some of them into those medivacs but yeah thanks are gone and that wasn't really how it could have worked out if he would have had attacked earlier this what the hell? this really shows us how important it is to keep your footing in the dance all right oh. all right like that I like that one thank you that was on the spot now, for the record, this is exactly the way that Loner wants this game to play out. He is just trying to continually force Marine King Prime to get into bad engagements, to get in positions where there aren't a lot of tanks or the tanks are out of position. And with this little medevac drop doing huge amounts of damage, Marine King Prime really needs to commit to a win right here. And he might be okay with this huge and swell of medevacs. Now, is that going to be... Uh, oh, no, no. the tank sieging <laughs> behind again, and Loner just sweeping around the sides, oh God. doing so uh, he's much losing damage. Everything again, like those tanks are so done and dusted. I mean, those Marauders pretty much pick up those tanks, and the oh. are gone as well. So <laughs> there comes the GG, and <laughs> and Gerard Prime, <laughs> some guy say. named Gerard, Gerard was in the game. The friendly cat Gerard was watching <laughs> that Terran versus Terran, just going. How is it? Do? Gerard you, is you a you cat's name. These, no, why is that a cat's name? Yeah, that's a cat's name. What other, well, have you ever why? met a person named Gerard? No, have you ever met a cat named Gerard? 
Absolutely. <laughs> I've met many cats named Gerard. As, yeah, that's, that's what I meet frequently when I go out to the street. Like, <laughs> hey, Gerard, and he goes, meow. He can't confirm, but he certainly looked like one. <laughs> and you know, that game, I think, is just a, a, a great um, reveal of how important it is to have that very gradual slow tank pushing, <laughs> because if you get over eager, I know StarCraft II is a fast-paced game, but patience is so important, especially when you have that many siege tanks as the yeah. core of your army. Maybe that's because he's used to those big, big, big uh, armies of Marines only, which are so mobile, so fast, and now he had those tanks which totally hold him back, and yeah. he was, he was kind of not even waiting for them. She's like, yeah, they're, they're going to be fine. I'm just gonna, just <laughs> They'll figure it out on their own. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, so, oh God. like, th I'm not even necessarily saying that those huge tank armies are bad, because, I mean, even in the GSL recently, um, as of the recording of this video, so hopefully that doesn't spoil her too much, uh, <laughs> A famous Swedish player, who I'm sure none of you know of, uh, Jinro <laughs> managed to do some amazing tank-focused play uh, against his opponents who were doing this mass marine style. And as long as you're really patient and careful, you know, probably even spending less of your energy on mules and more on scanning around, you can do that sort of pushing successfully. But, oh man, poor Marine King Prime. Poor Marine King Prime. Poor Marine Prime. King Prime, like all five of those times when he moved out. And it's just like, where's the seat? <laughs> yeah. And then I wanted to rip out my eyeballs. Yeah. That uh, felt the same for me, and I hope for all of you too. Is that a great way to that end the video? That is a perfect Rip ending. out your eyes. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I wanted to rip my face off. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Sean. Yeah, my name is Zoe. Thanks for tuning in at uh, My StarCraft or Game Sports or wherever you find that VOD. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward for more content tomorrow. Peace out, guys. All you right. all look very pretty today. <laughs>